Who he's just not that into your smartphone. <laughs> hmm. Single iPhone users don't want to date someone with an Android. Ooh. Yeah, matched. He's a 10, but he has an Android phone. What's his new rating? A three. It's like such bad photo quality. And you don't get an iMessage? Five. How am I going to communicate? It's green texts and I'm doing blue. I've been there. Having an Android phone and getting judged due to the green bubbles. Or oh, ew, you have a Galaxy or Google phone, just get an iPhone. Or even, come on man, you're ruining the iMessage group chat with your green bubbles. <laughs> There's hundreds of jokes for having green bubbles. But times are different now. And now you don't ever have to worry about your bubble showing up green in this biased blue bubble world. This is the Unboxing Gadget, and today we're going to dive into how to set up blue bubbles for your Android phone, in this case, the S24 Ultra. Let's get it. Now, our setup is going to consist of three steps. And the first step is the most important step, it's the server. Now, the blue bubbles FAQ recommends you get an Apple VM, but nah, you don't need that. My recommendation is to get a Mac Mini, an older Mac Mini, an Intel Mac Mini. This Mac Mini will serve as a server to host all your messages coming from iMessage. And luckily, the Intel Mac Minis are cheap. You can find them on eBay for really good deals. And also, you can have this thing running 24 seven. And you don't have to worry, ever worry about, you know, server getting compromised, someone hacking your server, someone even, you know, taking your server. You can just keep this at home, keep it running, and you'll be good to go. So if we take a look at eBay, you can see you can easily pick up an Intel Mac Mini 2014, 2015, or even later for around 100 bucks, 150 bucks. And this is going to serve you as the best server for hosting your Blue Bubbles application. Okay, so let's navigate to step two. All right, so we're at the homepage for Blue Bubbles, but our server is macOS. So we're going to go to GitHub release pages. We're going to scroll down to the latest version, um, whatever your latest version might be. Um, it, it, you know, it might be later, earlier, it doesn't matter. Um, download the latest version here. So once we get it, once we get it downloaded, we are also going to navigate to some settings to get things set up. All right, so everything's downloaded. Let's navigate to security and privacy because this is important. You need this in order to have full access for Blue Bubbles in order to work. So we're security and privacy. Um, let's navigate to the privacy tab, which will allow us to give access to the app. Um, so we navigate to full disk access. Um, I'll block out my you know, my password and username here. Um, we'll get everything unlocked. We'll allow Blue Bubbles to be accessible and lock it back. And we're good to go there. Okay, so once that's set up, you can navigate to the server page and we'll go step by step getting everything set up. So you give access to your contacts, check. Now, on this page, we already gave permissions to the Mac Mini to allow um, Blue Bubbles to do everything it needs to do. Uh, you can see here the permissions is full disk access pass. So all these checks have to be in place in order for everything to be set up. So for permissions, we're a check. We can move on to the next step. All right. So next step is notifications. Now I'm not going to show this one because it does require me signing into my personal Google account, which I'm not going to show here, but it's pretty simple. You sign in with your Google and then Blue Bubbles will authenticate everything um, from setting up the Firebase server to getting all your access set up. And then you can just have all this running in the background. You don't have to worry about anything. So once you get that set up, let's move on to the next step, connection setup. Now for this step, this is pretty important. Now you do need to write down your server password in order to access the proxy server just in case you need it. And this will allow you to create a tunnel from your Mac OS device to your client on your Mac mini. So this is a pretty important step to get everything set up. Um, so really all you have to do is here is create a server password save it and move to the next step. And you can see below, also forgot to mention, you can see below for my proxy setup, I did select Cloudflare because it did say recommended. So uh, you can kind of select which one you want to. If you do have a little more expertise, there's other proxy setup configurations, but either way, select one of them. The private API setup. Now, Bluebubble says this will give you pretty much kind of full access to iMessages ecosystem from liking the reactions to um, editing to everything. Um, now, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you have your personal computer. I would really only, only recommend this if you have a Mac Mini or you're on a VM because, um, you know, you don't want to give complete access to anyone, in my opinion. But um, if you do have a Mac Mini and you do want to give that option, you can go here and set that up. Now, my Mac Mini is Big Sur Mac OS 11 Plus. Um, you can easily follow the steps here. I didn't get a chance to record this. It's kind of hard to record this because you're 
rebooting your Mac and getting everything set up, but um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, once you get everything set up, you'll be able to navigate back to Bluebubbles and you can just refresh the private API status. Make sure you check messages private API and then it'll, you can refresh the status and it'll say connected. Pretty simple, not too, not too complicated. And you can also set up the FaceTime private API, um, which is pretty cool. So um, a few settings here, set it complete. Uh, keep Mac OS awake, it's important. Like I said, if you have a Mac mini, you can keep it running 24 seven. Um, auto install, apply updates, um, and then OLED black dark thing. Hey, I like everything dark, so I'll keep that. All right, so here's the main page. I want you to get everything set up, the server page. I have all my stuff blocked out, so you can't see it, my server address. And you can see on the side too, it has all different settings for contacts, Android devices. You can have multiple Android devices. You can have the Bluebubbles client on multiple devices. You can schedule messages. You can look at the API and webhooks. You can do a lot here, which is pretty cool. Um, so it allows you to take full advantage of using iMessage on your Android phone. All right, so let's get this thing downloaded on our Android phone. So you can see here, this is the application you need to get Bluebubbles set up and running on your Android phone. Now, if we flip over to the application, you can clearly see it looks just like iMessage from the color to the reactions to the hearts, to the thumb ups, everything. Feels right at home, which is pretty cool considering this is done from a S24 Ultra. Now, I do want to make a point to call out one thing that's pretty important. It's a SIM card. Now, for both of my phones, I have two active SIM cards, which makes it pretty easy. I can have iMessage on my iPhone. I can have, you know, different SIM on my Android. But if you want to have it where you just have your active SIM on your Android, you do need to do the SIM card trick on your iPhone or your Apple device. Um, so that will trick Apple to say, hey, um, this SIM card is active. I still want to use the iMessage. So that's a pretty important step. All right. So at this point, you should be good to go. You should have blue bubbles on your VM. Mac Mini, you should have blue bubbles on your Android phone. Everything should be connected. Everything should be green. You should be good to go. Drop a comment below. What's your thoughts on using this? Are you just going to use a normal Android messaging? Or are you going to include it with iMessage? Or are you just going to stay on your iPhone? Let me know in the comments. I'll catch you next time. Peace.